Welcome to Sapper Steel Forge. I'm Jason, and I'm thrilled to have you here today. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different than what we've seen already, which has been, you know, different lately. Uh, today uh, I'm, I'm working on a piece that I've had for a while. It's not a forge piece. It's an old multi-tool. This thing's starting to flop around. You can see one of the handles fell off it. So I'm just going to do some repairs because I actually, in spite of the fact this is cheap, I love this thing. Super useful. Plus, I already made a little leather holder for it. I'm not going to show it to you because it's not pretty, but it works. But what we are going to do is try to put some pretty new handles on this thing. Now, first thing I'm going to do is take it out to the anvil. And you can see it's actually riveted here on the ends. So what we're going to do is just take it out to the anvil and tap them rivets tighten them up a little bit and that, that'll fix the loose problem right out the gate. Then we'll just pry this other little plastic handle off and we're going to make some new handles. Now my uh, godson Sean, he's my videographer, he's my video editor, he also makes resin scales for me and we've got some really pretty ones. I've already cut them down to the right size. See that that fits there. So what we're gonna do is take these over to the drill press and I've got some milling bits in there and we're just gonna mill out that centerpiece So that it fits right over top of that and then we'll epoxy them up shine them up make them look pretty I'm super excited about this. It's gonna give some new life to this old old thing See this thing has been used quite a bit. I, I really I've gotten a lot of use out of it over the years, and I can't wait to get more. So stick with us. It's going to be great. Alright, like I said, that wasn't going to take much. Hope y'all enjoyed the world's tiniest hammer. <laughs> Kid. Uh, yeah, see? Nice and tight now. They, they don't just flop around anymore. That's all it really took. You just take a, a really small hammer and tighten up those, those rivets a bit. A couple of taps with the world's smallest hammer, and now it's straight and goes in and out just fine. And uh, once I've... Uh, Epoxied all this up. I'll, I'll make sure to oil this real good too, to make sure it works good. So let's uh, let's get that uh, other handle in the vise, get it ready to drill out. All right. So step one for milling this thing out is we need to put this in the vise. Now I'm going to put it with the gold side down because I want that side out. When it when it's on here, it, it should look like the gold side out and the black on the, the side. So it's going to be really cool. We're just going to set this thing, try to keep it nice and flat as possible. And the next thing we're going to do is set this on here. And we're going to kind of get a good idea with the pencil of where our channel needs to be because we don't want to make it too big and it won't fit so right about there we can see the pencil marks or i don't know if y'all can but i can see the pencil marks but that's where we're going to burr out so now i just need a depth and it's going to come down to roughly here so we're going to do the same thing on this side and then what I'm going to do is take it over to the drill press and we'll set everything to that depth already because this stuff's pretty pretty soft when it comes to, to milling through it. it. It ain't like wood. I could probably mill this in one pass. All right, so we got everything set up. You can see safety goggles and uh, something of a mask. Yeah, milling this thing shouldn't kick up a lot of that resin dust, but safe than sorry man this stuff's not good for your lungs all right so what i'm going to do now is uh i'm going to just use the burr bit here to uh mill out that that centerpiece and then we'll check it for a fit
Okay, well, we got a channel. It kind of didn't work out exactly the way I was hoping. Never done this before. But I think it might actually still work, so we're going to find out. Okay. Well, fortunately, although it did screw it up a little bit, it wasn't quite wide enough anyway, so I was able to straighten out most of that channel. And it's a little long on this end, so we're just going to cut that off anyways. This thing's actually going to work out. Okay, so like I, I was saying, yeah, I did brand new idea here, so yep, messed it up a little bit. But as you can see, that's actually going to work out. And all I got to do is uh, leave this forward pin exposed, which, okay, sure, I'll polish that up a little bit, make it pretty. The rest of it fits nicely in the channel. The epoxy will hold that in, and uh, we'll polish it down. So what I'm going to do next is pop this uh, other one off. We'll channel out that second uh, handle, and we'll be good to go. All right, so apparently this one was held on just a little bit better than the other one. I uh, guess they used a better glue or something, but in the end, it popped right off, too. So now we're just going to clean this up on the grinder, you know, get all that excess old glue off there. We'll channel out that second piece, and we're going to be good to go. You see, these are almost all ready now. So we'll, we'll do the channel and then we'll glue them up and I'm going to have me a good functional multi-tool again. a charm and you can see this one looks a lot better than the first one hey first time doing things you mess them up that's why i, I try out stuff like this on my tools because i don't really care if i carry around a multi-tool that's looking a little off but it's mine and i'm going to use the heck out of it second one looks like it's pretty good so i'm going to check the fit on it and then it'll be time for glue up so I had to do a small touch up, but honestly, it was off by like a millimeter, which for me is pretty amazing. Uh, exacting measurements has never been one of my strong suits. So uh, yeah, it fits now. And so we're going to go over to the other table, do the glue up, and it's going to be time to finish this thing up. All right, so we've got the, uh, the handles trimmed down to size. They fit nicely. Let's see? That's uh, just about the perfect fit up for me. So what we're going to do now is I've got the uh, the two pieces of the epoxy or the two uh, chemicals for the epoxy. I got uh, my favorite five minute epoxy already in the little bit here. So I'm just going to mix that up and then we're going to fill these up and uh, let them set. Oh, well, you want to make sure you get the epoxy good and mixed on a day like today. It's a little extra thick because it's a bit chilly. Or it was earlier, and the epoxy just hasn't quite warmed up to the outside temperature again yet. But that's all right. So now we're just going to take and fill this thing in with the epoxy. Make sure we get it all, all over it. Extra's okay. can always be wiped up. And it'll help fill in any gaps. I said my... Uh, Definitely not a machinist. Uh, you know, I've, I've never milled anything before today, successfully. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's uh, the, the kind of exacting things machinists do I'm not real good at. That's why I prefer the old style of uh, metalworking. I, I like my blacksmithing. But that's all right. That's uh, epoxy forgives all sins, right? So we're just going to fill this thing up. May have to make some more. No, there's a patch. Yep, 
Now in cold weather like this, we're definitely not trusting it to set up in five minutes because it won't. Uh, we'd be lucky if it sets up in a couple of hours, if we're being honest. But that's all right, because I got all sorts of time. So now the epoxy's set up anywhere I might see a little gap. You just fill it in. I say the epoxy will set up nice and strong and fill in that gap real nicely. Now I'm sure there are people who could have done a way better job for me, but you know it's kind of fun to do stuff yourself. Okay, so last update on the uh, multi-tool here. The epoxy is mostly set. It's still a little bit tacky. It's a little chilly out today. It's only going to get up to about 60 degrees. So uh, that's going to... We're going to just let it sit overnight and, and finish curing. No big deal there. I've, I've got to head off to work before long. Tomorrow or the next day, we'll come back out here. We'll shape these handles, polish them up real good. I've got some really great polish I, I like using. Some uh, rubbing compound buff and wheel and it makes it shine so we'll be on that again and uh we'll probably do a couple more of these uh i've got another little pocket knife here that's uh kind of falling apart you can see that the that blade does a little bit of wobble uh we could simply replace the pin in it that's, that's easy enough but uh you know where's the fun in that so I'm thinking a whole new scales, maybe some really pretty wood or something, and to uh, clean up this, this nasty, rusty blade, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, hey guys, uh, <laughs> it's the next day, the epoxy's set up, as you can tell by the attire. Uh, it's a typical North Carolina winter, which is to say it was 60 yesterday and a balmy 33 degrees this morning, so a little bit chilly. But uh, see... This thing is set up nice, so what we're going to do now is just take it to the grinder, shape these handles down, polish them up, she's going to be good to go. So, as you can see, they go together nicely. It uh, fits in the hand real well. So, now all that's left to do is just uh, put a polish on these things, and we're good to go. So we got it all the way up through the thousand grit. <clears throat> Look again, a nice already. So the last thing we're going to do is, uh, uh, well, I, I cleaned it off with a bit of spray oil, and that'll help the hinges as well. But the uh, last thing I'm going to do is put some rubbing compound on there, take it to the buffer wheel, shine it up real good.
right, and that's going to be it for this project. Uh, see, I, I buffed it out with the, the rubbing compound, and then I put a little bit of furniture polish on there and wiped it off. Made it nice and pretty. See, it functions nicely. Well oiled now. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty happy with it. I, I wouldn't send this out to a customer like this. I, I definitely need some more practice on the milling and all that. But, uh, hey, for me, I like it. I love how it turned out. And uh, definitely going to be working on this. And one day, we'll be able to do this for customers. But uh, for now, this is good for me. I'm going to take it to work with me today, which I got to get ready for here directly. Which is fine, because working inside today sounds lovely. It's pretty darn chilly. But uh, if you liked it, man, subscribe, all that stuff the YouTubers say. Come see us on our Etsy channel. I've got, or Etsy shop. Got stuff on there you might like. You know, follow along. Uh, got a new uh, video editor that's going to make some fun, more fun stuff. And uh, thanks so much for joining us.